This series is brought to you by the Vice Provost for Graduate Education, Stanford Biosciences Office of Graduate Education, and Stanford's Presidential Ideal Initiative. So when I was an undergrad, I was a computer science major, actually. And um, I did that because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And so I was like, well, I'll just learn a skill that might be useful. <laughs> and in the worst case scenario, I'll just have some job security. Um, and uh, I kind of, as I was going through undergrad, started getting interested in, in biological questions and I wasn't sure that I wanted to go into grad school. I actually had a number of um, internships in industry um, before actually doing research in a lab. Um, and while the internships were interesting and useful and it was, you know, nice to make a little bit of money, um, there was something, I always felt like there was something missing and there was, I, I didn't feel very excited about them. Um, and then Right before my senior year of undergrad, I joined a lab that I really, really liked. And it was a combination of some computational stuff, but also a lot of kind of like hands-on wet lab work. And I just thought it was so much fun. And it was like the most fun job that I had had. <laughs> All of, you know, my other work experiences combined. Um, and I, I really wasn't sure. And it felt like a very big leap to go from um, you know, having had this one really solid research experience to grad school, but I was kind of like, there's nothing else that I can really imagine myself doing right after undergrad. So I decided to go for it and I'm, I'm very happy that I did. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. Um, yeah, it's, I think it was the right choice for me. For me, um, I struggled a lot in undergrad, um, trying to, um, have the right study skills and the right time management and financial management. Um, but I took a class in animal, animal biodiversity. And part of this class was making a insect project where we had to um, identify different insects and um, pin them in a case like museum quality project. Um, and I really enjoyed this and and went above and beyond um, making it look perfect. And actually my teacher uh, mentioned that graduate school is all about like working on your own project and um, challenging yourself and like motivating yourself. Um, and I had never considered graduate school because I had struggled so much in undergrad that I had never considered that an option. Um, but she saw that potential in me and I went ahead and did um, participated in research in a parasitology lab um, and really enjoyed that. And then I, to make sure that I wanted to go to graduate school, I um, did a post-bac program um, with the NIH, the prep program. And that was like, that sold me. Um, and I was sure that this is what I wanted to do with my life. Most PhD programs, and I, I was at a conference actually at a, um, one of the sessions, and they basically said, you should not be, ever be paying out of your own pocket for a PhD. Um, it is an educational experience. You do come out with a degree, but also you're working towards projects for the university and for your lab. And so in that way, you are also kind of an employee. So you should not be paying anything towards tuition and also you should be getting paid a stipend, a living stipend, um, you know, to be able to pay rent and buy food <laughs> um, and, you know, do all the other things humans need to do <laughs> to be happy and survive. I think that was the most surprising part of grad school that I had never considered um, because undergrad is so expensive that um, you just kind of like, are not sure if you should continue on with your education because of the cost. But uh, when I found out that I would actually get a stipend to do what I enjoy doing the most, which I did as well in the post back program, that's when I was like, this is, this is great. I wish all schools were like this. You get paid to do some, to enjoy what you're learning.